What's up, you two? We are leaving, where are we again? I don't know where we're at. Oh, we're at Nampa, Nampa, Idaho. And we are leaving for Oregon. This is the last leg of our trip. And uh, we'll be home tonight. Might be late tonight. Might even be tomorrow morning. But we'll be home. I got Mr. Corey in tow. And we're off. So you said you conceal carry, don't it? Right? What? You conceal carry? Yeah. What do you carry? This is Donnie. Well, what brand? Um, it's called the XD Springfield. Oh, Springfield XD. Yeah. Nice. A little yeah. sub. Is it the subcompact one or the compact one? Steel targets. Yeah, the round circle ones. Um, uh, I can get like four out of four out of five. Oh, that's not bad. And, uh, yeah, fire shooter. Oh wow! Yeah. I had to look up to see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'd never seen one before. Yeah. Well, not in life. Are you gonna do that one of these times? Uh, not likely. No? Well, he has a person with them. Yeah, they're tandem jumping. Yeah. The problem is, is I weigh more than two people, so it'd be like triple jumping. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think, do I'm not even... That? When do you do that one these times? I would do it if, I, if, if there was a parachute big enough for me. Oh. I don't know if there is. Not that You're not that heavy. I am. I weigh as much as two people. Uh, 350 pounds. You just think you are, but you're really not. No. You're not that big, actually. No, physically, not really. Yeah. But I weigh a lot. 350 pounds for, is, is quite a bit. Most people are like, you don't win no free PFP. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I have no legs. I'm a giant midget. I'm just a giant walking torso. Okay. So, uh, we are on our way through the John Day Highway, and I had completely forgot about this chip ceiling that they were doing here, and now we're driving on a road covered in gravel. And it is uh, pretty messy. They haven't already started spraying that goop, have they? Uh, I don't know why. I might turn around and go back the other way if we do, if they are. You do not want to get that stuff on your bike. What stuff's that? The tar. Oh, I already have it on my bike. That's a cleaning, uh, cleaning I don't want to get into. <laughs> oh, okay. I can hear it sticking to my fenders. Oh, you mean the gravel? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's gravel, but underneath it is wet tar. Oh. Yeah, and you have the metal. You have the metal thing, too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's even going to stick even more. Right? I can hear it rattling around inside my fenders. Yeah. Okay, I see the wet tar. See on the side? Yep. Well, we're through it now, I think. Yeah. Did 
have to take your whole wheel off, don't you have to do that? Yeah, right? it's gonna be a messy repair. <laughs> yeah. I can hear him rattling around in there. Yeah. And it might be in my belt even. It's not good. That's why, uh... When we get somewhere cool and shady, I'm gonna pull over and check it. Okay. YouTube it's down to one I am on my own cruising down the Sandy M highway about uh, 77 miles from home it's about uh, 8 o'clock I think and yeah, about 730 and uh, gorgeous gorgeous all right through here the Sandy M highway here and um, oh, very refreshing after going through the high desert. It was hot, 90 degrees. Boring ride, except for that canyon. That canyon is pretty damn cool. But uh, yeah, Corey split off. He's on his way to Albany. So it leaves me on my own to talk to myself while I ride down the road. Awesome, right? Yeah. But uh, it was a great trip. Man, it was awesome. It had definitely better than uh, Yosemite as far as uh, the level of awesomeness. And both the amount of people that were there and the just the sheer beauty of the countryside. Um, Beartooth Pass was amazing, absolutely amazing experience, and uh, man, I, I can't wait to get out and do it again next year, although depending on the plans and how much money I can save up for next year's trip, I may not be going with Triple X Deadhead and Sean, yeah, depending on where they go. I mean, if they go to Europe, obviously I am not going. There's no way I can afford that kind of stuff. But if I could, if they go to somewhere along the coast, I'll definitely go up to that. So, I mean, even if it's, even if I have to stay at family's house somewhere in Seattle or something, I can still make that. But I don't know, it just really depends next year where it is and where I'm at with my financial situation, whether I, I might not even have a motorcycle next year, I don't know. But either way, I'll do something cool. Unless I don't have a bike, then 
probably boring. But, uh, yeah, it was a great trip, absolutely top notch. And I want to thank Triple X Deadhead, Sean Smoke, everybody else that came, making it an awesome trip. Even though it rained every day we were there. <laughs> oh. It was beautiful, man. All those falls. Yeah, if you guys ever go to Yellowstone, definitely make sure you br you uh, leave yourself enough time to explore, because that place is gigantic. Absolutely gigantic. Well, I'm looking forward to sharing all the video I caught. I mean, there was some pretty amazing stuff that I recorded. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I re missed recording, too. Uh, coming back from Mammoth Falls on that really crazy day that we went out and uh, it was supposed to be a short little two hour tour, ended up being an all nighter, which is great, I think, but uh, I missed, I forgot to uh, do something or the camera messed up, but I, I missed all of that ride back from Mammoth Falls, which was really beautiful in the sunset, so. Um, there was a couple other things I missed, but it, it definitely, probably, it definitely, probably, it will probably be up on uh, other people's channels, so you guys will be able to see that on their channels, too. Um, yeah, gosh, it's, what a terrific trip. I can't say enough about it. And, you know, being the first long distance haul I've done on this bike, um, let's see how, if I can see here. I'm, I'm at 68, or 6,940 miles is what it is looking like it's gonna be. I'm at 1,563 since just before we did Beartooth Pass. So yeah, I've, I've, I came really close to hitting the 3,000 mile mark on this trip. Uh, was it just, just over 4,000, or no, just under 4,000 miles. No, it was just over. I was just over 4,000 miles when I left for all this trip, and I'll be just under 7,000, so really close to the 3,000 miles. And I can tell you, this bike is perfect for long trips. Perfect, absolutely flawless. Uh, the stock seat is really comfortable. Uh, there's the way that the foot positions are with the with the highway bars, the floorboards, and the back passenger or the passenger pegs. Which I don't know if I can show you. Right, but I have my feet on now. I got really short legs, so they work really well for me, but I also have them way up high, so you can put them lower too if you have a little longer legs. But just being able to kick back and relax on the bike um, with that big wide protection from the Batwing fairing, infotainment center with GPS that backs up, well, you know, my phone GPS, which Neither of them actually work real well for me because I'm an idiot. But absolutely great bike, man. Oh, and I I was planning on replacing the rear shocks because supposedly they they only have a one inch or two inches of travel, which is not much. I figured it was going to be one hell of a bumpy ride, but I had less problems with the bumps than guys with double. The suspension uh, travel. So I don't know. Maybe that it, it just some something about the shocks that makes it that much better. 
or what, but I have not had any problems with it at all, so. The only complaint I had about this trip was the rain. And only because I did not have proper rain gear. And that's mostly my fault, so. Yeah, not the bikes. The bike, bike flawless, absolutely flawless. If you wanted to make this thing uh, a weatherproof machine, you could probably put something right there to block the wind from your knees, get some soft lowers, and you've got a freaking ramp. Just ramping everything right over. <laughs> You'd be perfect. I really love this highway. This is probably my favorite local highway. Really tall trees. It's always shady. Nice and cool. And it's very remote, so there's almost never any cops. <laughs> when I worked at FedEx, that place back there, the Fist Hatchery and uh, whatever that Marion Forks restaurant there, I used to have to deliver all the way out there, 60, almost 68 miles out of town. That was a crazy long day for work. But, yeah, it feels good to be in my neighborhood again. As fun as it is to go out and travel, it always feels great to come home. Well, with that, I bid you adieu. Have a wonderful night. Ride safe. Yeah, I mentioned out.